Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make this cake stand slash cupcake stand slash accessory stand slash whatever you would want to use it for. But isn't it cute, you guys? Um, so yeah, all you need, these were all bought at the dollar store, is a small plate, a candlestick, and a larger plate. And I love the beading on this plate. I actually could use a whole set for my house and I think I'd be happy. Um, anyway, so yes, you want them I, a little bit different. There's nothing wrong with being a little bit different. Want The top one needs to be a little bit smaller. Um, and then this E6000 um, kind of glue, industrial strength glue, you will need that too. This was not bought at the dollar store. I'm not sure if they have that. I just already had it. So that's what I'm going to use. I also washed up my plates because some of their plates that have been sitting on the shelves for a while get dusty. And so you just want, especially because you're sealing the top and bottom of your candlestick. So you want it to be nice and clean so that the glue adheres to it. So here we go. I am going to start by, um, I'm going to put the camera down for a second and put glue along the bottom rim of that. Okay, and then you just want to stick it in the center of your plate. And the best way to do this, see I've got my glue on the bottom, is to stand over the plate and just kind of eyeball it. Okay, but you want it as even as possible. Okay, and then push down on it for a few seconds. Get it on there nice and good. Okay. So there it is. I have it on my plate and centered. And so the next step is just to put a ring of the glue around the top. And if you get this glue, it's fairly easy to work with. Um, it has just a tip that you just, you know, squeeze along the top. Stinks. It does stink. You do need to use this in a well-ventilated area, like my patio door is open. Um, so anyway, here we go. I'm going to put a ring around that. Okay, so I've got my ring around the top of glue. I'm getting ready to put my little plate on. And you're just going to eyeball this one again, too from the top. Look at it from the very, very top. It's easier. I will tell you, I've tried this with a, um, a square plate and square plates. This is so much easier with a round plate, especially because you've got these um, dots. If you go to the dollar store and actually get the same, ah, the same um, plate, you have dots to kind of line it up. From the top, it looks good. Go ahead and push it down. Okay, and then that's pretty much it. You let it dry for, I'd say at least 24 hours. I'm going to use mine tomorrow for a birthday party. Um, but anyway, see this is from the top that I'm kind of eyeballing to make sure it's even. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the top. But yeah, there it is, you guys. That's it. And you have a $3 cake stand I did in a whole matter of five minutes. And if you were doing a, a wedding, or a bridal shower or a baby shower. Um, you know, to do a whole bunch of these or one on every table would be very cost effective. And cute, that's adorable, right? So anyway, there it is. Leave a comment down below, like this video if you think this is cool, and uh, let me know if you're gonna do it. And go to the dollar store, because I don't know how much longer they'll have these, um, these cute little polka dotted plates. So anyway, have a good day, you guys. Enjoy, I'll see you next time.